Hello, welcome our dear parents, teachers and learners all over the world. Based on the 8,000 teachers that we have trained and over 5,000 extra that we have interacted with, we have found out that reading is the mother of all subjects. Did you know that reading is the mother of all subjects? And that is the finding a teachers in need by teacher Peter Okwari and the rest of our team through our reading implementation campus approach. And in this lesson today, we are going to answer three questions that teachers asked about the age. At what age should we start teaching reading? In which class should we stop teaching reading? And which teachers should be teaching reading? So kindly watch this video and wait for our responses. And at the end of the day, kindly subscribe to Teachers TV Africa. If you have any question, you can also share it. We shall respond to it. But did you know that reading is the mother of all subjects? And tomorrow's leaders are simply today's readers. Tomorrow's leaders are simply today's readers. Thank you very much. Keep watching to the end. Hello. Welcome to Teachers TV Africa, where we inform and transform lives. And we have been receiving questions about reading. And again, in our reading implementation campus approach today, we are going to answer some of those questions. And if you have any question, kindly share it in the comment section. And if you're new here on Teachers TV Africa, whether you're a parent, a learner, or a teacher, kindly subscribe, like, and click the notification button to always be getting our videos whenever we upload a new video. And um, one of the frequently asked questions is, at what age should I teach my child how to read? And this is it. With the reading, reading is like talking. In most cases, the moment a child learns how to talk, it simply means they can learn how to read. Even before learning how to talk, we can start showing them or teaching them how to read or how to love how to read by reading for them as they listen and as they enjoy. So it simply means if they start seeing you as a parent reading to them, they will enjoy and they will start appreciating the approach. So at the age, like if it comes to the issue of at what age, any age starting from one year, or even months, then the, the, the real reading or the reading of the sounds, at least it is better when a child has reached like two years. The moment they start out to they, they learn how to talk, at least they can start reading sounds, the, the, the alphabetical sounds, like sound A from sound A to sound Z, but it should be a gradual process. Meaning, a good parent should be a good teacher. And a good teacher should be a good parent. What does it mean? That reading starts from home. Learning how to read, we start from home. Repeat it. Thank you. Now, and from there, when the child goes to school, it simply means that at school time, by the time of going to school, they should start finding various approaches of reading from school. And today we might not look at all those approaches, but at least we are answering the questions. Now, the second question, which was asked, sorry for not answering these questions comprehensively, simply because we have these questions that we should we believe we should answer. The question, the second question that is asked is in which class should we stop teaching reading? Which class should we stop teaching reading? Now our answer, sorry for writing a short question. Our answer is very simple. Reading should be taught in all classes because reading evolves and it grows gradually. Meaning we teach it from nursery that is kindergarten to upper sections of primary and even in high school. And if you find or if you make research, the reason why so many children in Africa struggle 
all around the world struggle with education is simply because the reading at times is not given the right priority or the right efforts that it, is need, that it needs. So reading should be taught in, each class, in all classes, just that the teaching approaches matter and they vary. So it simply means that all teachers should be well acquainted and well equipped with the necessary skills and approaches on how to teach reading or how to incorporate reading in their respective classes. We are summarizing that, that reading should be taught in every class or it should be incorporated in all the subjects. Now, the third question is like, the, like question number two, whereby which teachers, which teachers should teach reading? This is a very good question. Now, reading should be taught by any teacher or by all teachers, lower class teachers, upper class teachers, and teachers in all subjects. If any school wants to get the best out of education and want to give their children or their learners the best start in life, kindly invest in reading and try to teach it in every class and it should be taught by every teacher. What do I mean? A teacher of math, a teacher of science, a teacher of SST, a teacher of English, and even the teachers in the ECD section. Now this is a big challenge. You find that so many teachers in the lower section, they do a lot in supporting their children learn how to read. But when it comes in upper classes and upper sections, it is more of a marathon, or it is more of a sprint. There is no learning there, it is just running. In other classes, in the lower sections, they learn. Now, in the upper sections, they run. And that's why you find so many children forgetting the basics. So if you are to get the best out of education, each teacher, from primary to secondary, and even in high school, we should be having qualities. And we should be knowing the principles that govern reading. Example, assume a teacher, one day a teacher found the word, it was a science teacher, who found the word, just this word, it was water trough. Water trough. And uh, it was a school where I went to, and the teacher came to a workshop in, uh, and asked about this word, water trough. He didn't know how the word came about, and the child asked the teacher, the children asked the teacher, teacher, why is it written like that, water trough, not water trough, like that, coming from the word traffic. But the teacher didn't have the response. Do you know what the teacher told the learners? Go to the library. That was the response. Very clear. Go to the library. But what does it mean? It simply means that these children are losing confidence in you and trust. So if you don't know something, as a teacher, yes, it is not a crime not to know everything. Make research and find out. So when he came to our workshop to find out, he asked that question. And we told him that the reason why this because we have this sound too. This is also sound f, the f for rough, for cough, for enough, and it's the same f for water trough. So it simply means that in all classes, we should learn how to incorporate reading in our respective subjects. And after this lockdown, so many children will have low reading abilities and their confidence will be very low. So teachers, all the stakeholders in education, parents, do what it takes to see that our children, before looking at so many things, let us invest a lot of our time in seeing that they master reading. Let us invest a lot of our time in seeing that we organize so many workshops, so many CPDs, so many sessions that should equip teachers with reading. And here are teachers in need or Teachers TV Africa, we use our approach, it's called the RICA. And RICA stands for and RICA stands for the Reading Implementation Campus Approach. This is an approach whereby we support all teachers, or we enable all teachers to get the basic reading implementation skills so that each teacher can become a campus 
which will support or which can direct the learners to the right direction or the right destiny, to their destiny. So, those are the three questions that we had for this week. The age, at what age, when should we stop teaching reading, and which teacher should teach reading. So, in a nutshell, reading is the mother of all subjects. And if we are to get the best out of education, as a nation, we should invest a lot in reading, starting in colleges, even at home. Parents, we should do all what it takes to see that the way how our children learn one up to a hundred at home, that's the, that's the same way how they should learn the basic reading skills at home. And finally, it is your responsibility to know that tomorrow's reader, leaders are today's readers. Our reading culture is still poor simply because at home we don't read. At school we read to pass examinations, but we shouldn't read to pass examinations. We should read to learn. And we should read to discover things that have not yet been discovered. And at the end of the day, we should read to lead. So as a parent, ask yourself a simple question. How often do you read with your children? As a teacher, how often do you read with them, not for the purposes, or for the sake of just doing examinations and passing tests? And do you know the types of reading that we have? And do you know the various approaches? Kindly keep watching Teachers TV Africa and subscribe. Next time you're going to share the types of reading and the various approaches on how you can teach reading or how we can have good teachers of reading on how all our teachers in every school can become teachers of reading. And basically, reading is the major thing that makes some schools be at the top of the game than other schools. The moment you have it, you have it all. Thank you very much. Kindly share your comments and your views. If you have any question that you'd like us to answer in reading, share it in the comment section below. May God bless you. Subscribe to Teachers TV Africa. We love you. See you then.